This morning, the countdown is on to a historic Labor Day tradition. Tulsa's Great Raft Race launches this morning in Sand Springs, and that's where we find our own Giselle Puente to show us what we can expect today. Giselle, good morning. Well, good morning, Lisa. I'm at Sand Springs Case Community Park, where dozens of rafts are ready to go for the race this morning. You can see they get really creative, and this one here is a pirate-themed one. Now, the racers dropped off these rafts yesterday for inspection. The Auxiliary Coast Guard does a safety check to make sure each raft has life jackets, paddles, and ropes. Of course, safety being an important thing this race. Now, organizers say hundreds of people signed up to participate this year and float along the Arkansas River. Now, Besides the creativity and imagination that goes into some of these rafts, you'll see all types of watercrafts this morning. In fact, you can even rent your own to participate in the race. And then you've also got canoes, kayaks, uh, inflatable rafts. We actually still have a handful of six person inflatable rafts. Uh, so you could come uh, still sign up and jump on one of those. All the racers will be floating a total of eight miles from Sand Springs to Tulsa's River West Festival Park. You'll get to see some pretty neat rafts along the Arkansas River. Now just make sure to pack some sunscreen and water if you're coming out to watch. It will get hot today. Now the first wave launch will start at 8 this morning here at Case Community Park. But there's a lot more of fun activities happening at the finish line at River West uh, Festival Park. And we'll have a list of that schedule coming up at 530. Reporting in Sand Springs, Chitzel Puente. Two works for you.